One sure thing is that there are a lot of talented Nigerian writers. And over the years, Nigeria has had writers who have produced impressive works of fiction cutting across different genres of literature. Many of these writers are in the diaspora, the United States and the United Kingdom particularly. One of them is Adeola Shonola, who is a trained lawyer practicing as a commercial solicitor in the United Kingdom. Adeola is a mother of three and writes mainly creative fiction, particularly targeted at young readers. She is the author of Behind the Hegel Gate, The Adventures of Zogi, Little Angels, a collection of children's poems, and Beautiful Minds. She joined us to discuss her books, writing, and things related. Enjoy this. Adela, nice to have you on Channels Book Club. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. You seem to write primarily for young readers, mm. primarily, um, correct me if I'm wrong, and you're also very versatile. Um, you write poetry, you write prose. Mm. Uh, most writers I know tend to stick to maybe one genre. Mm. You know, so what inspires you to write so extensively and why primarily young readers? Well, um, I think, if I think back, I, I started writing when I was in secondary school, um, Federal Government Girls College Akure in um, Nigeria, and the first thing I ever wrote was poetry. I actually had a big book, we used to call it Big Note, and I would scribble down the things in my head. Um, people have asked me this question, and I think sometimes I say um, it was out of boredom, because I went to boarding school, mm -hmm. and at some point, you know, you have your CSS, sort of like a regimented um, lifestyle, routine, yeah, yeah. lifestyle. And a time would come when there was really nothing to do, and I would scribble things down. Um, so I put it down sometimes to boredom, but I know it's not boredom, actually. I think it's a gift, because since writing that very first poem, I've written so many after that. And as a matter of fact, I have three books of poetry. Um, so the poetry came before... Um, fiction. The fiction came after, or well, that was from um, a scribble as well, and then it sort of developed um, after that. Answering your question about writing for young audience, I think um, little children have a very creative mind and they're very imaginative. And I know people say, oh, you know, our culture is not one that reads a lot. Um, I think it's a wrong narrative it is it is well i think so because i read quite a lot of books when i was growing up in Nigeria, and it was way back then where you could say you well know, there was no internet back then no there wasn't yeah you're <laughs> right yeah but i read hard copies you know things like famous five secret seven any blighting and all of the rest of them so i read a lot growing up but i think because of the internet now you know they say people don't read that much we just go on the internet and get the information that we require um, so I'm adding my bit to that narrative because I know children are very inquisitive, they have sharp mind, and you have to be very imaginative. And what I'm doing is saying the imagination is there, you can use it and bring out, you know, the creativity in your mind, put it down in paper, on paper, put it down in pen, and let other people, you know, benefit from it. Mm. So how many have you written now? You've got about five books out or four? Yes, I've got five books. I have... Be beyond the... I've got Beyond the Hegel, Hegel Gate, Gates. which is fiction, um, and it's fantasy adventure. That's the genre. Um, I've got... Be there's a sequel to Beyond the Hegel Gate, which is um, the Harlem Beast. The mm -hmm. poetry books, there are three. I've got... The very first one is not here. It's called um, Stage One, a collection of poetry by Adiola, of poems by Adiola Shinola. And there's um, Little Angels, and there's Beautiful Minds. So Beautiful I have minds. about five books. And I have about 119 poems. Unpublished. That are unpublished yet. 119 <laughs> yes. poems. Okay, do you, do you have a. You started out self publishing. Yes. In England, right? Yes. How difficult or easy is that? Well, self publishing is not easy. But you have to do your research and you know speak to people. I think once you've done your research, um, it becomes easier. Because the challenge I had was that even though I could scribble all of these things, they just sat under my pillow and people kept pushing me out, you know, 
get it out, get it out. You know, um, it was a lot of hard work because I can remember my waking it, waking up at three a.m. sometimes. I can imagine. It, so, difficult. so lawyer daytime. Yes. Writer nighttime. Yes. When do you sleep? I don't. In between. <laughs> I don't. I don't. People say I'm restless. My brain is always active. And um, you are a mother yes. and uh, th three kids. Yes, I've got three children. And married. Yes. So there really is no excuse for the, the guy out there who, who has been talking about writing a book. Get on with it. Get on with it and write. Yeah, just, just get on with it. Um, mm -hmm. It gives me joy, actually, to write. Because when I'm writing, I'm in my own little world. And in that world, I can be anything I want to be. And I can make people what I want them to be. And so it's, it's sort of like freedom. It's a me time for me. Mm -hmm. So I, I embrace it. Okay. And just get on with it. If you have in you the ability to write, just do it. You know, do a bit of research, depending on the area that you're writing on. Um, but it's not, okay. it's not that bad. Just do it. Do it. Little, Little Angels, a collection of children's poems. I'm fascinated by this because um, this is a poetry book for children. I like the way you've illustrated it. Um, Thank you. Uh, I mean... This is not trying to be racist, you know, I mean, white, you can black, be, white, black, I mean, everybody's the same. But at times, I look at books written by Nigerians, you know, Africans, for African, young African readers, and I look at the illustrations there. I, I see snow, snow there, and, you know, white children, and all that. So what, what you've done here is to actually use African children in your illustration, you know, and made it a lot more African, which I think is very good. Thank you. And you've turned one of the poems into um, a YouTube video. Yes, I have. Uh, let, let's, let's allow our viewers to have a peek into this. I mean, they can go and search themselves. All right. Lagos is a place I guess you've never been. But now, I will tell you all there is to see. people in it but I'm not sure I can fit in it's, it's a, a double. double I see a beautiful fountain with lots of water in it but I'm not sure I can see any coins it's, it's Tinubu Square oh I see the beach Blue with lots of waves. Wish I could swim, but I see no lifeguards. It's Boy Beach! I see a bike like a car, looking ever so frail. Wobbling from right to left. I look and I see yellow. <gasps> it's Keke Marua! Oh, oh, I see a big wedding. People in their beautiful attires. I wish I could wear it, but it's ever so thick. It's a show cake. I see all sorts of people all in the party house. Dancing in a funny way. I wish I could do the dance. It's, it's a Soto. I see three statues, all in white robes. <gasps> I wish they could speak. When, when suddenly, suddenly they, they say, say to me, me. Welcome to Lagos. That's really, really nice, really nice. Um, in Lagos, Lagos is a place I guess you've never been but now I will tell you all there is to see. So the idea of this is just to show Lagos. Yes. Keke Marwa. Um, Azonto Dance. Azonto Dance. Okay. Yes. Um, Babi. Babi. I used to go there a lot when you I was know, little. And, and all that. Lovely. So basically, rather than just using book form, you thought of also using video. Yes. Tell me a bit more about that. Well, it's quite interesting because when you read the um, 
little angels. I think one of the downside about what I do is that people say I'm not capable of writing short poems. So sometimes you read my poems, it's like a short story, so it's quite long. Um, so the idea in The Little Angels, I have about four poems whereby they are quite specific and um, is part of revealing some of my identity, actually, that, you know, I come from Nigeria. You know, I grew up in Lagos. There's one called Inyikiti there. There's one about festivals. There's one about the tourist places in Nigeria. Um, so in Lagos, um, it's quite educated and educational. And it was just for young people to be able to engage and connect with yeah. it. And it's very interesting uh, as well. I, I mean, I absolutely it. love what yeah. you've done. I mean, Thank I you. love what you've done. Thank you. Uh, and you've also you've created an app. Yes, I have. For two of your books. Yes, I have. And the app is free? Yeah, it's free to download. So every kid out there can, yeah, they can. every child out there can download? They can, on Android and, um, is it Apple? The yeah, the, the two books are? Little Angels, a collection of poems by Adela Shinola and Beautiful Minds. Okay. And the um, Little Angels is, is um, interactive as well. Okay. So it can, it makes noise if you, you know, if there's a dog there, you, you know, you um, point at it or you click it. Yeah. It actually backs. Wow. So, yeah. Interesting. Good, yeah, <laughs> Interesting. You. And it's free for free, yeah, it's free to download. To download. Yeah. Now, why yes. do you write fantasy fiction? I mean, yeah, um, fantasy fiction is easy to write for me because it's, you just have to very, be very imaginative and be very inventive in the way you write things and create your characters, uh, maybe the dragons or the monsters in the book and all of that. It, I write it because it is free. You know, when I'm there, is my world and I can create and make it what I want to be and my brain this is very inventive maybe it is <laughs> <laughs> so I put my invention wow. down into wow. that book yeah Adiola it's been nice having this chat with you Thank um you. Uh, you, are, you are over there in England and doing so much writing uh, uh, hoping a lot of Nigerians back at home can get to see more of your works. Thank you very much. You know, well done. Thank you. Keep writing. Thank keep you. turning them out. Thanks. And, and, and let's read some more. All right then. Thank you. Nice to have you on Channels Book Club. Thank you, Conley.